for tonight's game. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, if I put two fighters in front of you and said you can train, both of these guys have equal talent, so you can train the lefty or you can train the righty, who would you pick? Well, usually the lefty has a little advantage because you haven't seen them too often. And that's always going to be something that's going to really serve them a little bit. But they might not have an advantage in the business end of it. A lot of guys won't fight your fighter. And then what are you going to do? That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. Well-timed by Evander Holyfield. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Mike Tyson. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Ten seconds to go in this round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Mike Tyson's able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Some bad intentions on that jab by Evander Holyfield. Blocks the headshot. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Halfway through round number two. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Through the years, especially in the heavyweight division, there have been some guys that can throw a good right uppercut. But when Tyson fully dips and gets, gets all that body behind it, it's as good a right uppercut as we've ever seen. Yeah, it's coming from Brooklyn. You know, it's coming from a place that really you wish that you didn't have to visit because you get hit with that punch. He's putting everything into it, but he sets it up nice. He hits you behind the back a little bit in the rib area, and then all of a sudden, when your arm moves a little bit, it's coming up the middle. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Final 10 seconds. Tyson's left, landing well. Evander oh, Holyfield's getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round, and he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches, but there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answer. And round number three is underway. Good right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice combination by Evander Holyfield. A headshot blocked. returns the favor with an uppercut. 
He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Evander Holyfield. Tyson's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he wanted to. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. That's a good left hand by Mike Tyson. target with that straight right. Solid. Oh, that got him. That wrecks him right there. He's down for the first time. <laughs>